And take a look at this. Pretty cool story. So a lunar eclipse that's happening tomorrow, but you might not be able to see it because of all the rain and clouds. The best chance for viewing will be around one in the morning, so it will look like a blood moon with the red glow. But don't worry if you miss it. You can try again in three years. So Amber, the big question is, how do the chances look for catching a glimpse of that eclipse? I mean, we've got rain, we've I got know. clouds. Well, the good news is that this is a total e total lunar eclipse that the entire North America can see. So if you want to travel away from Southern California, away from all the rain, then you'll get a chance to see it. But really here in Southern California, we are looking at rain and a lot of cloud cover during this time. But you may never know. You may have that uh, lucky chance where the clouds get to clear and there's no rain. But this is the time where we're actually seeing most of that rain starting to move in. So the partial eclipse begins at 109. But because you can watch this on streaming and if you live anywhere than Southern Southern California, you'll have a better chance to see it than us. Uh, but for us here in Southern California, the maximum eclipse takes place just before 3 a.m. Then the total eclipse ends at 3:41, and then the partial eclipse ends at 4:49. But yeah, 